people always bring up Halloween, Friday the 13th, and A Nightmare on Elm Street when it comes to the pinnacle of horror movies, but in my opinion, Scream is the best out of these classic franchises. The Scream franchise consists only of five movies and a TV show. I will be talking only about the movies in this video though, because honestly, I hear the TV show is pretty bad. With the Scream series, I have very strong opinions towards which movie is better or worse, so here is just a simple ranking of the five Scream movies. My least favorite movie of the Scream franchise is Scream 4. After watching Scream 2 and 3, I was very much looking forward to Scream 4 because it seems like the most interesting movie in the franchise since the original. But after watching it, it is very disappointing, and it's my least favorite of the franchise easily. The Scream series is built on good writing and characters, plus combined with fun meta concepts. Scream 4 doesn't really have any of that. My biggest problem mostly is the characters, especially the new ones. The new ones are just not really interesting and poorly written and just annoying. The old characters are good still because they are based off the original characters or they're still continuing the story of them. But they're surrounded by these new characters that just give it a really boring sense of everything. The meta commentary also, as I was saying before, is not interesting really at all. It just also doesn't make much sense either. Why is one of the horror staples, this is a big example, is that characters don't die if they're gay? When has that really been a thing in pop culture, in horror in general? I do like that they decided to take this new approach to kills in the movie being much more violent and brutal, which is kind of what I like in a horror movie is when they're more brutal and they kind of do a lot of crazy stuff with that. But in general, I just found the movie very boring and just I wasn't engaged that much. And I think it comes down to those new characters just being just really boring and uninteresting. This placement might be controversial, but Scream 2 is my fourth number four pick in the franchise. It's pretty much just a retread of the original Scream, but worse. I think the new characters in this movie um, are much better than in the fourth movie's introductions, but they're also just not that engaging. I think the writing, though, is pretty good still overall, and I like the writing in this movie a lot. And it's still solid, like the or is, it's not as good as the first one, but it's still really solid. And I think the main cast, uh, Nev Campbell and stuff like that, is still great, and their overall um, chemistry is great together. I really enjoyed the opening of the movie being the premiere of the Stab movie, and I think this is the most interesting part of the movie. I think also the overall experience, though, of the movie, the moment-to-moment -moment scenes, is just a lot of fun and is a good time, but... The movie just suffers from, in general, being Scream, the first was Scream, but just in college. Which brings it down heavily compared to that first movie. I think the killer reveals at the end are great, and definitely better than in Scream 3, which we'll get to. But the meta-commentary, while solid enough, isn't nearly as good as that first movie. But it's still fun because Jamie Kennedy is still the one kind of bringing us through that. And I think Scream 2 is, when it's at its best, it's a fun roller coaster, and at its worst, it's just boring scenes that are taking place on a college campus. Coming at number 3, Scream 3, this is the biggest surprise on the, my ranking. I did not expect to enjoy Scream 3 as much as I did. The meta commentary in the series is at its height at this movie, and I think the setting of the movie is a lot of fun and enjoyable, and that it focuses on Hollywood and stuff like that. I really like the plot of this idea that someone is trying to make their own scream movie, or sorry, stab movie, um, and they're trying to kill people to create the movie i really like that and it's a fun concept i think the new characters in this one are actually pretty good i like that they're like fake versions of the char main characters like they're the actors and i think they're well written in general 
and the old cast is still good as ever. The movie is also in this really weird place because it features a lot of strange connections to Harvey, Weinst Harvey Weinstein and his sexual crimes. And lots of this movie heavily feature ideas about Hollywood being evil and filled with sex criminals, which is p ever present today. And I think in general, that concept is actually really interesting. I really like it being a commentary on Hollywood itself. And, but the worst part about the movie, I think, is the killer reveal. And it ends up lowering the quality of the reveal in the original. Um, I'm not going to kind of get into it, but it just ruins that mostly. And Scream 3, most of the time, is a fun meta ride. As well as it's also the last movie we see Jamie Kennedy. But the ending and changes of timeline do bring it down. Which I really wish the ending and the timeline changes weren't here. Because the movie, I think in general, would be still excellent without those. It's still a, it's a good movie. It's a solid movie. But these changes and the ending just bring it down heavily for me. <laughs> And number two, Scream 2022 is the best Scream movie since the original, mostly because of the director's radio silence. Understand what made that first Scream movie work, an interesting meta concept, and good characters. The new main characters in this movie are actually pretty solid, and by main characters I mean Jenna Ortega and Melissa Barrera, who are really great additions to the series, and I'm excited to see them, I assume, return in Scream 6 when that comes out next year. The old characters are good, even though I wish they were in the movie a bit more. And Jack Quaid is great in the movie. I think I really like his character in the movie, and he's one of the most fun and great characters in the movie. He's just a great addition. I really like Jack Quaid a lot, especially in The Boys. He's really great. The kills in the movie are also really good. It's something I haven't really talked about in the other previous movies. Um, except for in Scream 4, but here the kills are really good, and the effects are also really solid. Now, the worst part about this movie, I think, for me, is the newer characters that are, like, off to the side. They're not the main characters. They're just not very good. I think mostly because their performances aren't, like, amazing, and the writing for them are just isn't up to par with everything else. I think the effects also are really good in the movie. The meta commentary is interesting, and while it isn't as fun as Scream 3 for me, it is still a good concept that works within this franchise and the movie itself. And like that original Scream movie, the first one, the final act of the movie is easily my favorite part, and the killer reveal is the best one since the original. I think Scream 2022 is the first time in the series where they feel like they understood what the original Scream feels like and, and we're able to present it in a modern setting. The quality of the movie shows that Scream isn't dead and needs just the right people to work on it, even though Wes Craven did the first four. I think Radio Silence actually can make really good stuff from this concept that they present in this one. And I really hope the Scream sequel, Scream 2, whatever they're going to call it, Scream 6, continues this trend of this higher quality for the first time ever it just works really really well and of course my favorite is scream 1996 it has to be number one scream is currently my favorite conventional horror movie by that i mean like one that's just straight to the point of what it is to me the fun of a horror movie to honestly be is a plot that isn't predictable and has you on edge for the entire movie and scream does this easily scream is also just a fun time the writing is particularly amazing and is what sells the movie more than you would expect the opening is classic intense as hell even on multiple viewings the characters are funny and just enjoyable to see on screen I haven't talked about the Ghostface costume really at all in this, but the Ghostface costume is excellent. I love its design and just overall being this just Halloween costume. Matthew Lillard, Skeet Ehrlich, and Jamie Kennedy as side characters are great and give excellent performances to sell this movie even further. 
David Arquette gives his bet his gives the best performance of the franchise in this movie, and Nev Campbell and Courtney Cox are great, just like all the other movies in the series. The first two acts are really good in this movie, but you are also kind of left in this like jumbled thing why people highly regard this movie. The final act is excellent and one of my favorite acts or just favorite pieces in film ever i think it's just paced so well and i love that it's only in this one select area and this final act is really basically half the movie and just never bores me now this is also where the meta commentary is starts and it's great i love this idea of them trying to figure out the rules to surviving a horror movie and the characters while knowing these rules still don't even follow them the kills while subdued compared to some of the rest of the series movies they're arguably the best in the series um the garage door scene is incredible the beginning is so brutal now i think the best part of the final act is the reveal of the killers it is straight up one of the best scenes I've seen in any movie. The scene is incredibly tense, especially going into a blind without any knowledge of who the killers are. It is especially great, and you never know what's going to happen. Now, I haven't really mentioned Wes Craven a lot, but what Wes Craven does here is great. He directs this movie so well, and I think he's an excellent director, especially of this movie. And even the sequels, as much as I they're not as good as this first one, he still does a good job overall directing the movie. Scream should be looked at as one of the best slashers, as well as one of the best horror movies. The movie is so much fun, and it's well directed, has great cinematography, and overall is the best movie of the franchise. With Scream 6 on the way, and the high quality of Scream 2022, I'm looking forward to what this franchise will do next. And in general, the series of Scream is really great. It's a fun time, and even though there are some low points at po sometimes, it's unlike in most slasher franchises because it wasn't melt dry, and the quality doesn't drop really far from that first movie. While they're not as good as that first movie, they're still not horrible movies. And it stay, they overall stay consistent with the ideals throughout the series. So, in terms of the Scream movies, if you're going to watch one, of course watch the first one. I really like the third one a lot, and I feel like you need to overall get to the final movie, um, the most recent one, Scream 2022. You kind of got to watch all the other ones. And they're all really short movies, so honestly, if you just slightly enjoyed the first one, or thought it was a really fun movie, just watch the entire franchise, I think it's worth it, and there's a lot of interesting stuff throughout all of them. So, in general, just watch Scream 1, it's great. Or also watch the entire franchise, I don't care. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, be here waiting for Scream 6.